Good evening and good morning. The Tati Pa will always support our president, the Tati. Uh, no matter what, we always love you, Tati. Just do the right thing, always, and follow our president. Um, it's quite a while I didn't do a video, and I'm in an open space, anyway. Uh, what I want to most to comment about is about our president, especially most of all, everything was going on now against our president with Trillianis and some others always this flipping Trillianis I mean until today he's really has been a pain in the ass him and Grace and some others and this uh, Lobredo and so and so and some other people from stupid other countries this kind of stupid canoe and foreigners whatever shit they are uh, keep interfering in our country and our things most of it what um, I just wanted to was a while ago as everybody knows um, about the the police killing some drug dealers and all kind of stuff. So, and then people protesting and whatever else they are doing, protesting to stop the Marawi and everything else. You know, people, I mean, this is uh, our people in the Philippines probably they don't see much things what goes outside of our country in the Philippines. It's like probably they don't know what's going on around the world and what goes around Europe, what goes around most of other places, what's happening, what happens every day. You know, um, killing is one of those things, it happens everywhere. UK, Europe, everywhere. Philippines is one of those things like it has been happening for years, many, many years, not just now. It's only because now it's more on the news than ever before. Uh, before, not many people goes and you know, it was a shoot here, it was a shoot there, because you'll be afraid. Newspapers and TVs and reporters, they'll be afraid to go and report something. You know, somebody was killed or somebody was shot or somebody was raped or somebody, whatever this and that. That's before. But now, I mean, everybody has a freedom to go anywhere. News, 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 news. It's like something, this is something new to talk about in our country, in the Philippines. Talk about and then something to do. That's what humans do. Something to do. Going against someone. Somebody has to pay for other people's, you know, blame, uh, faults and this and that. So that's how it goes around the world. In our country, in the Philippines, what's going on is our president. Our president gives the freedom to people, freed a lot of people from everything, corruption, police, drug dealers, everything, raping and all that still happening because most of the time we are short of uh, policing on the streets we should have more police in the streets 24 7 not just you know um just 20 day and night time we hardly have any police on the streets patrolling which we should have had 24 7 police on the street which we don't but also it needs money so you need a, a lot of things to do and it also needs money to pay people to be patrolling the streets and then to do everything else but anyway, going back into these killings of 32 drug dealers and all kind of stuff. That happens. That's how it is. And until people doing drugs, that will continue happening. Sometimes we still, I'm not saying we still don't have any corruption policemen pay, being paid or being trying to sabotage our president. Of course they do. You know, protesting against our president is not going to do much of anything which we're doing wrong to ourselves. Our president is trying to do the best, to do everything in our country. Didn't he, in one year, done so much than any other person ever done it? Can we see that? Or we just seen what's going on, the, the war in Malawi, and the killings of drug dealers, and then this and that. Can we see some people behind this, like Trillianis and some others, in politics, they're trying to sabotage our president and stop him to do his own job and what he's supposed to do. Reason those people is doing that, trying to sabotage our president, is just because they want to take control themselves. Just imagine, if, let's say, Trillianis and some other people from the government who's against our president try to come in power. What do you people think what will happen? Back to the same thing. Corruption will come again to the same thing into government. Because those people, they are already corrupted. Since they come into government, those people, they are already been into government by corruption. And they are still there with corruption. And they're trying to fight our president. 
to put him out, to do whatever, and for him to look bad, plus they getting help from, you know, other canoe from outside and everything. What the heck they have to do with it, our country? Those people from our side have got nothing to do with our country in the Philippines. So they shouldn't do anything and they should be interfering. They shouldn't even be allowed. If people remember a while ago, there were some canoes come to the Billard prison to visit Lila Dilemma. Who the heck is those people? Why they want to see if Lila Dilemma is okay and they want her to be released? One of the biggest criminals we have in the Philippines. We have all the evidence and all kind of stuff. And then these people from our side come to see Lila Dalem. What do you think this is? This is all a play. This is all, you know, uh, disrespectful. One, for our president. Second, the thing coming with the human rights, this and that. What do you people think was happening around the world? What do you think is happening around this country? Well ago... People was run over by vans and this, that in Spain. It happened in UK. It happened in France. It's happening everywhere. Killing is happening everywhere. It's not, but does anybody say anything about UK? Does anybody say anything? Or oh, you guys killed that? Because in France, because they, this guy ran over so many touristic people on the street with a car. You know, this police woman in France, they shot. They shot those guys straight, no questions asked. They shot those people who kill the tourist, the uh, those people who kill the other people on the street. This woman, the police woman, shot them, four of them. Do you know what they do? They praising her because she done good and this and that. They praising her. She's a hero. Now, when we do that on the Philippines, what they say? is extra killing, is, you know, people shooting for no reasons and the police killing for no reasons and all kind of stuff. But over here, when they kill it, do you see what they do? They praise it. So why they interfere in our country, in the Philippines? Why these people from Europe and the UN and so and so comes into our country and then these stupid idiots like Torianis and some others in the politics and this stupid grace and whatever else is behind this, trying to make problem into our president. How come our people in the Philippines don't understand that? You've been brainwashed in a lot of things through, you know, like, like I keep saying and I keep saying one of the, my videos, God and devil. So devil is against God, isn't it? And it's the same thing as Trillianis and some others is against our president. People, please, wake up. If you think anybody else can do better than the president we have right now on the Philippines, you guys are wrong. All of you will be wrong because we have the best president and the reason he's there, that's because God put him over there in this place to save our country, to save our people. If you just realize it, he had more than 4 million drug addicts before. And he was rising. And he will continue rising. Because families and so and so will pass through drugs and this and that. And rob, killing through drugs. Raping. Just shooting anyone. Just when they feel like it. Is no control. Police was the same thing. Police is corrupted. So who would stop the police? Did any other, any other president in our country, in the Philippines, ever stop any corruption of any kind? Or any police has been ever trialed for dealing with drug dealers? And even police who was into the drug dealers because they are doing themselves. Mayors stealing money, you know, from everything. From Yolanda. I keep mentioning Yolanda because... I was there. I know a lot of mayors who steal money from Yolanda. Mara Rojas is one of, this, one of those. The mayor from uh, Capiz in Rojas City, you know, is one of those. He steal millions, you know, and investing on himself and lands and trucks and put that on his wife's names and son's names. 
So it's not, you know, things. And that's how we do in the Philippines. For me not to think I pass it to somebody else's name, a family name, but that belongs to me. Reason who's going to find it? It's not mine. It's not in my name. But he stole the money. So the point is, can we as a Filipino nation, as a Filipino people, because we are most of the best around the world, in the sense of looking, seeing, family, the way we are so humble and caring for our own people and our own country, we should care for our people, our country, which we born, we love, and we raise our children, and we live on it, and the respect for our president, what he's trying to do. Can we see what our president tried to do? Think about it. These Trillianis and some Marajas and some other people, these flipping Trillianis trying to put um, a little group against our president as politics. Can you people see it? They're trying to brainwash it and all that stuff. Like the war in Marawi. You know, um, some people, they're saying, oh, stop the war in Marari, this and that. Please, people, if you don't understand, this is happening all over the world already. This is happening just now in the Philippines. But if our president doesn't do something right now, this is going to expand all over our country in the Philippines. So if our president doesn't stop this part of Marawi of growing with this kind of people of killing and bombing and anything everywhere this is going to expand island to island until those people will control and kill most of a lot of families most of a lot of innocent people so you have to understand something please see what's going around other countries around the world for many years this has been happening now our president trying to stop so many people and people doing bad things in our country and coming into our country to train and to destroy. So is it bad, our president, what he's doing? Can we see everything in a different way, in a different dimension, in, in a different future? Because this is it. For us over here around the Europe, we've been with this kind of war, but nobody talks so much about it. Now it's like the, the tension is in our president and what he's doing in illegal killings and extra killings and all that kind of stuff. What the heck? We and our, pre our president is doing the best to our country. And if he's not him, just imagine if he's somebody else, still build corruption on our country still will continue inside the um, president uh, with the, all these uh, corrupted people inside the government and police and everything else. And anybody can walk around the streets doing, you know, whatever they like and kill anyone they, they want and rape anybody they want. There's no control. If you guys are fighting with our president, and you go going against our president, our country will be worse than ever it has been. And that is not just me saying it, but if we don't support our president to make it right and to make our country good as he already is, after our president, you'll be the worst president ever. You will come along. I want the fallen president after our president, I would like him to keep as much as we can as our president Rodrigo Duterte. But after him, I would like Mr. Senator Allen to be our president on the Philippines. And he will be, I know you will be, Mr. Senator Allen, you will be the next president in our Filipino country. He's the one next to our president Rodrigo Duterte. But I hope we can you know, voted and supporting our president, the one we have right now, because we don't know how lucky we are to have a president like this. So for now, please support our president, Rodrigo Duterte, always 100%. Love you, Tatae.
and keep doing what you're doing. And, you know, nobody's going to stop you on that. Only God knows. Peace. See you next time. Bye-bye.